Okay. Okay, I think you don't have access to any report. Okay, let me add you. Uh, what's your good ID? So, S O N. S O T N D O N. O T A N D O N. Okay, I added you. Uh, so now refresh your screen and you should see that. Okay, I see one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now refresh, you should have both repo now. Yeah. Okay, so the FRMC core is the core framework. Yeah. Uh, the Salesforce test is the test case repo. Okay. The scripts, all the test cases goes to Salesforce test. And if anything like the UI changes or anything like code framework changes, like test MG or anything driver related, should go to the FRMC code. Okay. Okay. So you have to clone both the project in the same workspace. Okay. okay. So to clone it, you have Git, Git bash. Yeah. Okay. Open Git bash. Not this one, uh, command line tool. That's. Oh, okay. uh, type, no, not that one. Uh, type git bash, just type git bash. You can do it in command line also, but I don't know how to do that here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that one. This one, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm showing git bash because Git bash is it? You can use use it anywhere because even if you go to a different environment like a Mac or anything, you can still use this tool. Yeah. But if you use uh, uh, other way like Eclipse, if you change to uh, IntelliJ, then you, you will be uh, facing a problem. That's why I'm saying uh, I always recommend to use Git bash or or uh, any command line tool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Git bash. Try to uh, law plus press enter there. So you get a problem. We will have the two windows. That's fine. No, you can close one. I don't know why it's open. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But press enter there. It should should give, should give a problem. Now, yeah. Now it's. Okay. Now create a workspace folder in your machine first. Like where do you want to keep your code? I always put in uh, uh, C drive, some projects, something like that. Uh, you can decide whatever you value on, like how do you maintain your. Uh, C drive, right? Yeah. I, used, I used to do C drive, create a project, projects, or anything like uh, Git code or anything. So, projects, or you can say automation, that anything is fine, okay? Uh, for your convenience to remember easily. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh, don't use space, uh, just. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter, but it will always it'll create some problem when you do command line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, we can use this as a works, workspace, right? Inside this, you will be you will be getting a two folders. One is that FRMC core, and one is a yeah. uh, test, Salesforce test. Okay. 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 Copy this path and uh, navigate in the C drive. Sorry, in the Git bash. Okay. C D. Yeah. C D space. Yeah. Paste that path. It should it should take you that path. I did control V. Um, right click and paste. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Enter. Okay. Now you are in this folder, right? So here you are. You are going to clone the project. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Now do uh, go to GitHub uh, online. The web. Yeah. Uh, click, first click the code. Yeah. Open the code. And um, click that code, the drop down. Yeah, drop down. Uh, in that, right, use HTTPS. You click use HTTPS. Okay, copy that URL. Yes. Okay, now do git clone. No, I wish we can record this session, right? Yeah, it's recording. It's recording. Recording, okay. I need to follow up with that uh, team, video team, to get the video. Okay, you git space clone. Okay, space. 
uh, paste that. Right click and paste it. Okay. Enter. The same, this steps, right? I already said in one of the SharePoint link. Oh, okay. You might have heard, you might get approval from Susan for that, right? So I know, I remember you and Padija have access to the documents, okay? But this all the steps have already in the link, uh, sorry, in the SharePoint. Okay. Oh. You can refer there also. Okay, good. Can I do the same thing for uh, other yeah. Copy the, go to the git URL yeah. and do git one. Okay, perfect. Um, now do git status. Space. Uh, whenever you do git, right, git space status. Okay. okay, yeah. Now just do one thing. Do git cd space. Uh, the Salesforce test. Test is open. Yes. Yes, the same folder name. No, I think the same folder name. The Salesforce test. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. I can copy and paste. Tests. Yes, that's it. Remove the space. Sorry, the slash. Okay. You can do a tab, it will automatically come. Okay, now you're in Git master, right? So, so do this. Uh, you can do the same thing for other uh, repo also. Now do Git status. No, just do, um, you, are once, you are inside the Salesforce test, right? Now do Git status. You should you should get a message saying that oh, up to date or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, branch is up to date. Okay. Uh, to, to get, suppose if I if push changes today, right? You have to do git pull again, okay? Do git pull. Uh, assume if I if I make some changes now. So now you should git pulls, git space pull. 
get space p or yes yes no no just full yeah yeah this is to get the latest code from the master branch yeah. okay and also we have to remember like we are we are using two we are using a branch strategy okay master branch or a feature branch you might you know right yeah okay so all the time we have to keep in mind that we are using master as a uh, like a production or a copy uh, to run our test and uh, whenever we are making some changes to our code we have to create a new branch yeah okay to create, to create a new branch uh, you have to use git space checkout space iphone b iphone b is for a branch iphone b b space uh wait now uh now i'm giving you a link for a, a confluence just check this page okay i sent you a link uh can you open that link okay um click that branch yeah that's the one oh i don't have access to it. but you are a confluence user right yeah okay Oh, but confluence, we we have not used confluence here. We are not using only. Oh, okay. So everyone has access to that. I don't know. Why. Yeah, you are not a confluence user. I am not able to find your name there. Yeah. So. I need to apply for access. Yeah, I need to send a request to you need to create a ticket in Jira for to Radhika so that she can. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing your name. Um, you're not. You're not public relevant also. So you are not Salesforce team is not using Confluence for anything. Yeah, we are not using. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that's a license thing. That's why we are not giving to everyone. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll export and send in a PDF now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, or okay, do one thing. Let's. You have SharePoint access, right? Yeah. Okay, go there. Go to QA Automation. The chat point. Automation. QA Automation. Oh, this one? No, oh, this can't. Yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one. It's funny. Um, knowledge training. Oh, they have all this facility. Okay, I just. Okay. Anyway, I I need to send this document in anyway, the PDF. I will export this document and send you. Export this PDF. Okay, I sent you in the Teams. Uh, check the document that has the steps for doing this. One second, my kid is calling.
I'm back. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so this is a part. First thing is as a developer, right? As developer, you need to uh, create a new branch. So that, that number one. So you can use yes, so Jira ticket or uh, test case ID as a one thing, or you can do like your name, uh, the timestamp, or you can give some descriptive words about the change that you're going to make for this uh, code base. Okay. Either base ABC is fine, but the order has to be like ABC as order. Okay, so if you are if you are automating a one Jira test case, use a Jira ticket number there, like uh, whatever the SIM, SIM underscore or whatever it is. Okay, so or or you can descriptive word date and time that is also fine. Like what changes you are going to make simply in one or two words, uh, you can do that. Or you can use your name and your timestamp so that uh, that we know that this branch is for this purpose and you are working on that. Okay. Okay, that is the order. So to create a new branch, the line number step three, the Git checkout, that is the step. So you can give the name, whatever you decide from ABC, you have to give them the, the name of the branch. Okay, and uh, that's an example uh, for uh, step number four, is a given example. So once you create a new command, execute that 4A, then you'll get that uh, command will change to like this, this way. Git C, C drive slash uh, automation project slash Salesforce test like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's how we can do. Um, uh, so once so, uh, first uh, let's try with the extreme with the both master branch. Okay, so what you can do, go to Eclipse now. This will be. Yeah, Eclipse. Uh, open, uh, I remember we have downloaded, uh, we've installed uh, Java, I mean JVM. No, go, go, to, go to command prompt and check the Java version you have. Like, I don't know, like, is there, is there remote it or command prompt? Type Java. C drive. Yeah, that's good, huh? I'll go through the recording. Yeah, thanks. This is a command Java. You may be able to see, right? Yeah, go, no, go to C drive first. C, oh, okay. Uh, C column. Enter. Now type Java space iPhone version. Yeah, you do have oh, Java, Java part of it. Let's do one thing. Can you go to C, C drive in a Windows Explorer? Go, open Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer? Yeah, Windows. yeah, that's the thing. Go to C drive and check whether you have Java installed in the program files. Uh, Amazon Corotto is not there, right? Okay, go to the other folder, program files. You have Amazon Corotto. O open Amazon Corotto. JDK is there, okay, 11, JDK 11. Okay, you have JDK 11. Okay, take this path, JDK path, copy that path. One, one, one folder in DPR. Uh, copy one bin, go to bin, inside bin. Uh, 
Okay, copy this part. Uh, now go to command prompt again. CD space, uh, paste it, enter. Now type Java space version. Space icon version. Okay. We have JDK 11.8. Uh, okay. I've, we never worked with 11 so far, so we used to tend the highest version. But uh, I don't know what challenges you will face when you start using 11. Uh, because you know the compatibility will probably come. If you if you write a code in 11 and if you if you use in a lower environment, right, it will be a problem. We can uh, get. Um, I, can I don't think it won't stop you, but you can do it. But uh, probably like you can uh, put another ticket to downgrade to JDK 8, Amazon JDK 8. Okay. JDK. Actually, I showed him this one. Yeah, I think you put a ticket for 1.8 or 1.10, but I don't know why they installed 1.11. I don't. Yeah. Okay. So you did put a, this one, right? But JDK 11 is like higher. Uh, I, even the developers, I don't like, uh, even the enterprise team is not using this version. Okay, I'll. I'll yeah, you write a ticket and uh, get it to 8 or 10. Yeah, okay. Because we always, we all, we all using Amazon uh, 8 only. No. Okay. Or Oracle 10 the max, uh, but not. I know Oracle they won't install. They are using only Amazon now for all the new users. Um, so, okay, just put the ticket and get it to downgrade to eight yeah. or ten. Okay, uh, fine. Uh, okay, now open Eclipse. Uh, so, sorry, Eclipse is not working, right? Wait, let's fix this first. Um, wait, I'll send you one command. You can you have to open Run Run. Okay, in the run tram, copy this sys dm cpl. I can use zoom zoom chat. Yeah. Is it an option for you? What what it says? Um, System. Maybe I want to type it. Okay, do one thing. I will do one thing. There is a comma that. that yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, wait. I will do one thing. I will I'll do the full part. Uh, can you try this one now? Uh, no, not from the run prompt, uh, directly in the window search. Actually, okay. The second one? Yeah, the second one. Just hold the, put the whole part in the window search. This, uh, the command starts from system, right? Uh, no, the, the windows search, right? That uh, in your uh, start windows, yeah, that one, the, yeah. Uh, put the whole path, whole put, path, yeah. Put the whole one, uh, slash. Sorry, the this wind directory one. user, yeah. Copy from the whole thing. Remove the first one, remove the first line, okay. And Okay, enter now. No, we don't have us. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, check the Java path here. Java home is there. Okay, but the path is missing, I believe. Click the path in the, in the top, user variable. Yeah, edit, click edit. Okay, add that path here. You can, the one you copied, the bin folder, right? You can put the whole path. Copy the whole part. Yes. New, add new. Okay, paste it and move this to top. How do we? Move this to top or move up? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, one more step. One more. Oh, yeah, we're on the top, right? Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since we are here, we will do one more thing. Uh, you have the Maven home, right? Yeah. Okay. 
do the same thing. Um, copy that Maven form. Uh, we have okay. I'll do one thing. Click the path again. Select the path. Edit. Edit. Uh, add new. New. Okay. Uh, percentage symbol. Maven underscore home. Uh, all caps. All caps. Maven underscore home. Percentage. Slash. Oh no, other slash. Other slash. Bin. Oh, no, sorry, bin should be the lower case. Uh, it doesn't matter, but bin should be the lower case. Okay. Good. Okay. Say okay. Click okay. Okay. Now go. Oh, click okay for this one also. Okay. Now open a new command prompt. Okay, go to C drive, CDs. Okay. Now type Java iPhone version, space iPhone version. Okay, that's fixed. Now Maven version, MVN, MVN. No, I did just Maven, uh, MVN, I think. M, B, N. N. Okay, space iPhone version. Okay, good. So both are set fine. Um, now go open it, try to open Eclipse. If not, we have to fix the Eclipse part. Okay, good. So open the deck, browser, browse to that workspace that you created, automation projects. Browse to that, I mean the Eclipse directory. I mean, Okay, from here, yeah, yeah. C drive. Okay, yeah. oh, select folder. Which the no, no, no. this is fine. You just click select folder now. So you stay in the automation projects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, click select. Okay. Okay, launch. One second. Okay, okay, now do file import. Okay, it will take some time. Okay. I think we're on the screen. Oh, uh, this is done, right? Okay, do file import. Yeah. Um, file import. Expand general. Um, existing projects into workspace from system. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Look for Maven always. Look for Maven. Maven. Okay. Yeah. Expand Maven. Um, existing Maven projects. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay, browse that folder, uh, project automation, automation projects. Okay, select FRMC code. Select. Okay. Mm, okay, FRMC code. Click finish.
first time it first time it will take some time uh, maybe yeah. two three minutes it will take
Okay. Uh, so in the meantime, right? You can. Uh, I sent a two file property file. Yeah. Okay. Um, open that. Save that file to your C drive users folder. So this is the credentials that I, I uh, the other day I showed you, right? That for a uh, Salesforce uh, API. Okay. okay. Just keep this a secret file. So that's why I, I didn't put in a GitHub even, but I think John is working on the encryption part of that. So once he encrypted, he will put in the GitHub directly. Yeah. Okay, but this has a lot of credentials. So just keep it as uh, uh, in your in a system so that it won't access by any other workplace. Put in the C drive. Yeah, uh, two files I sent you, QA and UAT. Okay, copy this and take to C drive uh, users. Um, your name, your name. Uh, create a folder called Jenkins Jobs. Let me check the exact name. Okay, Jenkins, uh, all together. Jenkins, yes. Uh, Jenkins, also put yes. Jenkins Job. Yes. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. Go back. Uh, rename the two. Jenkins jobs. Put yes, yeah, at the end. Yes, perfect. Okay, yeah. place this file. Yeah, paste this file here. So uh, remove that uh, one parenthesis under one. Make it to thread dot properties. Yes, do the same thing for UAT also. Okay. Okay, uh, so this is a property file that we are going to use for uh, the authentication API. Okay, so so this will be a secret file for now. So, but um, when we move to GitHub, the after encryption, we'll put, put directly in the GitHub. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so that's all. Um, so I think it's all done, right? Now open file. Was it done? That point? I think it's done. It's not showing up anything. Oh, can you click that? Close this welcome. Close this. Close this welcome screen. Not there. Not there. In the small yeah, tab. Yeah. Okay, expand that. Expand the arrow. No. Uh, can you right click? Are, are, okay. Right click FRMC Co. Yeah, right click. Uh, Maven, um, update, Maven update. Update project? Update project, yes. Uh, okay. Say okay. Okay, so you have error, right? Um, 
Okay, expand that one. Click, uh, yeah, click that arrow. Uh, check where you have error. Uh, error. This one, I think. Uh, Automation master. Okay. Expand that. SRC main Java. Yeah. Oh, expand that main Java. Okay. Expand that. Expand that why yeah, expand that. Go to the log no. page. Yeah. Go to the log one page. Uh, okay, open that log loan page. Open. Okay. Expand that import, please. Expand that import. In the right side, right window. Yeah. There. Expand that. Line number three, just expand. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there's only only that we have. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll check with them why they have. But it, the, the, since it, since it's another project, I don't stop you to or uh, run your SPG test, say Salesforce test. Okay. So, okay. Now what you can do, just right click the project again. Which way? Uh, all the way, all the way up. Go scroll up, scroll up all the way. Okay. Right click. Run as. Run as. Maven install. Okay, can you expand that console window? That's giving some error for you. I don't know why that is. How do we do that? Drag that. Okay, you scroll down. Okay, what it says, exit code. Um, that looks like the Java version issue, I think. So. Open Eclipse. Where is that? Uh, yeah, in the perspective, in the right side, right, there is an icon, uh, the last icon, I think, the last icon. That is a console, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. So, what do you have here? That is build error. Can you scroll up? It says, uh, fail to execute the test project. Okay. Scroll up. Up, up. Test cred, oh, test cred properties is you need, okay. So one thing, just copy that, uh, go to that drive, go to that Jenkins jobs drive, folder. The only you put, a, you put some property file, right? To QA test, and then you need test also. Uh, like in the automation folder? No, the Jenkins job that I, I sent you, right? Uh, let me, I'll, I'll do one thing, I will send you again, the same name so that, Jenkins jobs folder. So uh, go to C drive users. Oh, okay, okay. 
displayed properties. Okay, I'll send you now. Download that and put under that same folder, Jenkins jobs folder. Oh, sorry, you I know because Salesforce is using only QA and UAT, right? But uh, other one of the test project is using test environment. Yeah, even cut and paste here. Yeah. yeah, right? Yes. Okay, now try your bill. Try to run as Madam Bill. Maven build it, right? Oh, sorry, Maven install. Maven install. Okay, so this is a simple uh, uh, test. Okay, just need to log into sales portal, uh, but it will run in remotely somewhere in the using grid. This is just to make sure the build is uh, the core automation framework is stable enough. Yeah. Okay, so but I know like the SPG is uh, error, right? It's giving error for you, but uh, but this test is on a different uh, project, so it will just run the simple test for a, within thirty seconds. So today when we have set all the setup, can we meet tomorrow also? Like uh, if you can just show me where, uh, like, uh, like just to overview of like where uh, exactly you are uh, editing the, we have to edit the test scripts. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, so this is all done, right? So today, uh, 10.45, I have a call with my dev team. So uh, yeah, after, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can stop here now. So we, we can continue tomorrow. Okay, so the setup is done for now, like all... Uh... You have to do the same thing for other project also, like Salesforce test. You have to do file import. That we can do quickly. Go to file import now. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. File import. Uh, so that is a very small project. You don't need to do a lot actually. Go to Maven. Existing Maven project. Yeah, yeah click next. Oh, sorry, sorry. How do we, uh, how do we... Click cancel or click cancel. I don't know where that got. Click cancel. Go from there. Again, go to file on the top. Oh, yes. File, yeah. File import. Uh, wait. Scroll up. Scroll up there. You should make sure you're going to go to the main one first. Collapse the general folder. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Go Maven. Okay. Maven. Inside Maven. Existing Maven projects. Okay, click next. Okay, browse. Select the one step back, folder oh, back. Sorry, projects. We will, we have to go to the automation. Yeah, automation project. Yes, automation projects and select sales first test. Yes. Okay, select. Finish.
Where do we see the progress? Earlier it was coming this side, right? Yeah. Whenever it's a, if you have Maven files, it will automatically build it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you collapse the FRMC code? Collapse that. The next, yeah, the first one. Okay. Now you see that, right? Yeah. Now, uh, what you have to do is to run your API test cases, right? You just right click the XML, the API, the last two XML. Yeah. yeah. Just open the right click is run as test ng. Run as test. Ah, uh, wait. Why you don't have it? You don't have a test ng in Eclipse. Wait. Let's find it out why you don't have test ng. Yeah. Um, or you do one thing. Go to help. Where? Uh, help on the top. Menu. Help menu. Yeah. Okay. Um, install new software. Type test ng. Uh, not the right. Okay. Somewhere you can install new software. Uh, not there. Yeah. Okay, do type test ng install in Eclipse. You okay, will get some steps. You can do that. Uh, maybe the second second text box, I think. Just type in the second text box. Yeah, test ng. Uh, I'm not getting anything. Okay. Enter. Just to enter what it says. Somewhere you can install it automatically. Um, can you click cancel and click cancel? Cancel it. Cancel this window. Install okay. it. Uh, wait. Go to help. Um, welcome. Check for updates. Okay. Eclipse Marketplace. Go to Eclipse Marketplace. Type test in here. In the file. Okay. NG. Scroll down and check is there anything like a test NG. Okay, after it type a SNG, did you click go? That's uh, giving the same results, or just click go. Yeah, um, yeah that will install that. This one I have to install yeah. it? This is the first one, install it, yes. This, diff this will differ to differ like some it depends upon Eclipse version. Sometimes Eclipse will give, will give default test ng. Yeah. Sometimes it uh, depends upon what Eclipse you downloaded and you're using. Okay. Just confirm it. Accept terms and uh, finish it. Okay, but if you, if you want to go, just go now and I will meet tomorrow then. Okay, tomorrow. Uh, uh, install anyway? I install anyway. Okay. Restart now? Yes, restart.
Yeah. So now can we come here and on the API? Yeah. Open Excel for test. Yeah. It will always take some time to load. Yeah, this one, last one, right? API test. Yeah, yeah, open that, open that at some Yeah. Uh, yeah, open the source tab. Uh, select the other tab. This one? No, 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 down, the source tab. Down, all the way down. Go to the source tab. Oh. Yeah. That will be the XML view. Um, parallel, okay. Yeah, this will it will run for a while, but it will run for at least five ten minutes, I think. But if you want to, it will. But it it won't stop you. Any, you can do anything, whatever you want in your machine. Okay, so you just right click and it will run for it for a while. Okay. okay. Just run right click and run it. Here. Yeah. yeah, run as test ng. Test ng suit. Yes. Okay, what's happening? It's failed, right? Um, can you scroll up a little bit? Something is wrong. Uh, can you click the first line, right? This one? Um, go to fail test. Yeah, click that fail. Anything is fine. Fail test or fail. Yeah, click that one. No Java XP definition. Okay. Okay, I think that something is missing in your uh, machine that we can fix it later tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Meanwhile, I'll create a razor ticket to download, uh, downgrade that version. Yeah, yeah, do that also. Maybe that is another thing that why you're getting that uh, SPG error, right? Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, because we don't, we are not getting any error. That means Java 11 is not compatible for that particular import, I think. Okay, sure. That I can fix the issue or we'll, uh, we'll, add, we'll find that solution tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks.